Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and in this Tinker Shop tutorial we're going to learn more about Sketchbook by Autodesk. This is a free uh, program and software that you can now download onto your desktop computer, your, ma your laptop. You can download it to your tablet or to your phone. Uh, it is available through iOS and on Windows as well. So first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your app store and you are going to download the program. Once it's downloaded, you can hit open. And when you first open Autodesk, there should be a blue button that does appear and it'll ask you to go over a quick tour. This is going to be a quick feature of all the programs. It will go over all the different tools and features that's offered in the program. Now over to your left hand toolbar, you're going to actually see a whole list of different pen tools that you can use. Every time you click on one of them, and you'll notice there's a gray tab over here. This can select either the size of your brush, and the one below it, clicking on dragging it, it selects the opacity. So we're just going to use uh, one of our markers here, and if I hit the icon at the very top, this comes up with the entire library of different brushes and tools. You can use traditional ones, uh, blending tools, patterns, um, swatches and splatters. There's a whole bunch of different options. Now we're going to just choose one of our marker tools here. I'm going to click on the tattoo anchor. When I go over to the canvas and I can, I suggest using a stylus for this program. It makes it a lot easier. You can press and drag and it should pick up the different pressures from your stylus and you can make a couple of different designs. Now uh, you can also Again, as we mentioned, lower the opacity and I'll make it a little bit fainter or less flow. Up at the top here in the top toolbar, you'll have your undo button and you can undo the last step that you did. You'll see another little icon here and this icon uh, it lets you know that which paintbrush is selected. It'll also let you know what opacity is set at, so we can up that if we wanted to. And then here, it'll actually, if you click on it, you can select which color you would like to select. So we can clicking on one of those and I can scribble through. Now if I hold down my stylus and select a certain area, it'll try to select that color. Let's just do that one more time, but I'm going to go back to the green color. So I'm going to hold down my stylus and I'm going to select this color here. So that should match it if you're ever trying to do color matching. Over to the right hand side of your page, you'll actually notice there's another bar here with squares and a plus symbol at the top, and also another color wheel. This is known as your layers. So you're able to add different images on top of it. And what that means is one drawing image could be on top of another and it will not affect the one that's below it. So I'm gonna go click on this one square and you can notice it's highlighted with a blue highlighted outline on it. I'm gonna go back over to my brushes and I'm gonna select a different color. And if I go over top of this, you can see it's a very different pattern but I'm not doing anything else to the green behind here. That's because it's not selected. Now, if I wanted to hide this layer, I can click the little eye dot here to the side and it removes it. You can do that with the green too. So if you ever notice that you're trying to remove something or erase something and it's not affecting the area that you want to change, uh, it might be because you're not selected on the correct layer. So keep that in mind when you're designing this. Now, the other fun part is you can actually hit the plus label here. That will create a new layer. Or if you want to delete a layer, you can actually just click and drag it up and it turns into a trash can and you can also get rid of it that way. Now, if you click on that layer, you can also copy it. You can cut it, you can paste it, duplicate it. You can also clear the page. Let's clear it. Uh, you can lock that layer so nothing will be able to be changed about it. You can also go into HSL adjustments. And this is a way that you can change just the color tones of it. Let's go to done. And then there's also color balance. So there's a few things that you can do that. It's very similar to Photoshop. If you've ever used Photoshop in the past, this is, um, you, this is something that you will enjoy. Um, and you can pick it up actually really quickly. Now on, on our top toolbar, you also have a whole bunch of other tools here. There's a select tool and you can also do the same thing. You can select areas, you can select shapes, um, you can select text. Uh, you can also use a magic wand and do things like that. Uh, here you can actually transform. So if I bring in an image, uh, we can adjust that. Here is our paint tool. So if we wanted to like just do the whole area and fill it in, we could do that. So let's go to like a purple and fill that in. We're going to do that whole area. Now at the top here, you can see there's a couple of fades. So that's kind of neat. And then we can try to change that. And you can also have a bit of a tolerance with that too, if you wanted to. You can use your text tool 
to create um, leveled fonts. So I'm just going to type in th something here. Uh, you get a chance here to also change the font styles. And then you can also distort. So that's where that little area comes in. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can move it around. If I hit done, um, this ruler tool will give you guidelines. So you can tap and drag the ruler and move it to a point. Uh, use your two fingers to rotate and double tap. So if you want to rotate it, you can click and drag with two fingers. Uh, you also have a curve option. And same thing. You can diff do different things like that. Um, eclipse to make something super round. Maybe you want your text to go all the way around it. And then there's also a symmetry option. If I want to use one of my colors here, so I'm going to click on symmetry and this option is really fun. So right now if I click on it, you'll get like a pattern um, being mirrored. Uh, if you want, you can also do a horizontal one. This one's my favorite. Uh, it'll go into kind of like you can create like spider webs with it and fun designs. Uh, same thing if you want it to be something a little bit more I don't know, tribal, you could do that as well. Now over here, you can create shapes. So you can draw an oval, make it nice and big. And that would also do a fun trick. So a little bit of pattern over here. Um, same thing with square. But if you want to also turn it off, just click on that icon again, and it'll turn it off for you. We're just going to blank it out there for now. Uh, over here, you can actually import an image. So that's super fun. Uh, you can go to your library. You can choose any kind of image. So you can make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to. I'm going to hit done. And then if I wanted to also, I can make um, a tracing kind of on top of it. So if I, if I click on my one layer here and I'm going to put the opacity just a bit down and then I'm going to click on my top layer, I can then go over to my pencil tool. And if I wanted to, I could kind of start coloring it in and painting it. Or I could also just click on this, drag away, click on my actual image. I'm going to change the opacity. There's ways that you can actually edit this as well. So I've changed the color here. Now if I click on the solid square here, I'm going to click and drag and I'm just going to kind of paint can all of my images here. So that's fun. Same thing if you make a mistake, just hit the undo button and it'll go back to it. This first icon here, this is where you can actually save your sketches. So if I wanted to, I could either hit share gallery. Let's click gallery, save current sketch. It'll bring back, it'll bring you back to the gallery of things that you made. This was one that I made in the, in the past. We're going to try something brand new. So I'm going to hit the plus menu here and I'm going to hit new sketch. I'm going to say, yep, and create. And we're going to do something pretty funky today. So I'm going to choose my brush and I'm going to go down to my library. And again, here you can have your size, your flow, uh, the wetness. Um, uh, if you go into advance, you can also do pressure. So you really get a good chance to do a whole bunch of different options when you're using these tools. And the more you play with it, the better you'll get at it. But let's go to library. Um, I'm going to look for like a splatter. And I'm going to pick some real neon colors here. So I'm going to make my brush stroke very big. And I'm just going to click and click. And it's a little bit strong. So I'm going to do it faded. And I'm going to make it really big. So I'm going to click and click. And if you notice when I overlap, it kind of gets a bit darker. Now I'm going to pick another color here. I'm going to make it a little bit harder. Boop. And let's pick a different kind of splatter because I like variety. Let's see. We'll do one here. And just have fun with it. Learn how to play with these. These are always great tools. Now let's pick some text. So let's... Uh, First, change our text font or color, and we'll give that, and we'll make it a little bigger. And let's choose a different kind of font. I'm going to distort it just a little bit so I can kind of move it around a bit here. And I'm going to pinch. Okay, I'm going to hit done. And now that I've got this, my text here. I'm going to click on my layer again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a duplicate. So there's going to be two here. Now when I click on this one, I'm going to use my paint can. So now when I click on my move tool, I'm just going to move it just a little bit over. I'm going to hit done. Uh, now if I want to also like do some fading, I could try to erase some areas. And I maybe have this like a little glow behind it. That's an option.
So that's one of the options that you can do here. You can also just draw if you wanted to. Now, if you want to save it, you can also have a few different options. You can uh, go back up to your menu here at the very top and you can also share. You can hit um, share here and you'll have an option to do it via email, save it to your library. So that's an option. Uh, you can also just save it in your gallery. Uh, that's some of the fun things you can do with a sketchbook. This is actually one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite apps for doing digital drawing or digital designs. Uh, it's very user friendly and the more you get to know it, the better you get at it. So I suggest you get a chance to go and play with that. And then post and share some of the great designs that you've made. We wanna see your artwork. Again, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library. And this was a tutorial on using Autodesk Sketchbook. Thank you and have a great day.